this video tutorial assumes that you already know how to create and organize the layers in a magic box, a box from which you can uh, reveal um, various images. Now, if you don't know how to do that, then have a look at one of the other uh, video tutorials that will take you through the process. Now, once you've created a props box and once you have uh, images contained within it, then you can pull those images out and it all looks very impressive. The problem is that not only can you pull objects out in the usual way, but you can also pull them out of the side. You can see that actually as we slide that over there. Pull the objects out of this side and clearly that isn't right because of course this is not a solid shape. We've taken this front panel and the side panel, we've grouped them together and put them onto the top layer, we've taken the back panel and the right side panel and we've grouped those together and put them onto the bottom layer and then all of the objects within the box are in the, the middle layer. But because of that, you can pull them uh, out of the side. As I, as, as I said, it's not, uh, it's not solid. But we can stop that from happening by using what are called restrictors and specifically using um, blockers within the restrictor options. Now what we need to do here is to have a look at the browsers. So if we go to view and browsers, now the browser that we're in at the moment is uh, the resources browser, but we actually need to be looking at the property browser. So if we just click on that then that brings up um, a number of options here there'll be other options that we'll have a look at in a moment. Now any object can be a restrictor and what that means is that it can restrict the movement of other objects. So you can set up an object um, as a blocker. In other words other objects won't be able to pass through it. Now what we're going to do is to go to the shape menu just pick up a simple line. It's already set. It's reasonably thick. And it's black so that we'll be able to see it reasonably well. And we'll just draw a line along this edge of the box. Now at the moment, if we pick up an object from the box, we can still pass them through that line. So we need to set up that line as a restrictor. Now the first thing that we need to do is to select it. So if we click on the line itself, you can immediately see now that we have all of these other objects, or other options rather, uh, within uh, the properties browser. Now, the one that we're interested in, we minimize the ones that we're not, the one that we're interested in is restrictors. So if we just maximize that, you can see at the moment that we have can block false. And if we change false to true, now when we go back into the flip chart, we can see that objects can't now pass through that line. And that means then that as you, uh, as you drag them out of the box, you'll drag them out much more cleanly and you won't cut across the corner of the box itself. Problem is, it just doesn't look very nice with this big solid black line. It doesn't fit the colour scheme, I suppose you could change the colour to a light blue to, to match these. But what you can do is to make that line invisible 
and it will still operate as a blocker. Now, to do that, we need to be in the object browser rather than the properties browser. We then just select the line again. We can see that that line is actually shape 13. Now, if we click on the column under hidden or the relevant row uh, in the column under hidden next to shape 13, double click, we bring up uh, the option to show or hide. So we want to hide the object. We'll also lock it into place. So we double click then uh, we bring up the option to lock the object in place. We can't now accidentally move it. And then we'll go back into the flip chart itself. So now we can't see the line, but if we pull an object out, you can see that it still is there, and it's still working as a blocker. So you can see that it would be very easy to put a line as a blocker along this edge down here, and a line as a blocker along this edge here, so that your box looks like a three-dimensional object.